how to present using Lecture Timer. Welcome to Lecture Timer and thank you for using our application. In this tutorial I'll show you how to use Lecture Timer in real time as you're presenting. If you haven't yet set up your lecture you can try it out with the dummy lecture included when you download the app. Open Lecture Timer. The active lecture starts immediately. If that's not the lecture you want to start, click Settings and tap the lecture you want to start. You may be warned that you're aborting a lecture, but that wasn't the lecture you wanted, so click OK. Tap Done. Now the lecture you want starts. If you haven't really started talking, don't worry. It doesn't matter. Lecture Timer will handle that. If the organizer told you you have less time than expected, don't worry. Lecture Timer will handle that, too. Tap Finish Time in the lower left corner. The finish time was automatically set for the optimum time for your lecture, but probably you know what time your lecture really needs to end. So set the finish time and tap Done. The timer starts. Let me explain what you're seeing on the screen. The obvious part is the middle. Gold indicates the time you have left in this section. Black indicates the time you've already spoken. If you've gone over schedule, you'll see a gray part. That's the part that was automatically taken away from you because the time was shortened or you went over time in a previous section. Let me show you an example of what happens in the opposite situation. That is, there's extra time to speak. You'll be shown a beige section. That's the extra time for this section. That's extra above the planned time. Lecture timer never gives you more than the maximum time you set when you created the lecture. Now take a look at the outer circle. Here you can see the entire lecture time broken up into sections. You can see visually what sections you've given and where you are in the lecture. The black area is the elapsed time since the start of the lecture. White is the amount of time left. Each section is divided with a line. Gray sections may appear at the beginning or end of the lecture when you have extra time to fill. On the other hand, if your time is short, lecture timer has already compensated by condensing your sections. If everything goes on schedule and you've set lecture timer to advance automatically, you don't need to do anything else. Just look at the timer and keep track of, of the time. Well, how often does everything go exactly on schedule? Right, that's why you have lecture timer. If lecture timer advanced and you didn't get to the next section, you can swipe to go back. First, notice the left side of the outer circle. Those are the remaining sections. Now, I'll right swipe because I didn't finish the last section which is the section that the red line is pointing to. You'll notice that the unfinished section moves to the white area and the other sections in the white area are condensed to fit that section, which I didn't get to yet. The red line stays in the same place because that shows the elapsed time regardless of how much material was covered. There are fewer gray sections because those are the sections I actually finished. When you get to the end of a section, you'll left swipe to move to the next section. I'll do that now. Notice that when I swipe left, the section moves from white to gray because I indicated that I finished the section. The white sections are expanded if necessary to fill up the remaining time. And you'll notice that it's easy to follow exactly where you are in the section and exactly where you are in the lecture with just a glance. At any time, you can manually skip sections by swiping through them. During your presentation, it could happen that you're told you have extra time or you see the audience is getting restless and you want to cut time off at the end. Tap Finish Time and add or subtract time with the plus 5 or minus 5 buttons or by setting the finish time and tap Done. When the finish time arrives, lecture timer stops and the lecture is done. That's all. If you haven't yet personalized the, the system and added your own lectures and presentations, check out our tutorial How to Set Up a Lecture. If you like Lecture Timer, tell your friends or like our Facebook page. We'll be posting tips and comments for people who do public speaking of any kind. Thanks for listening, and thank you for using Lecture Timer.